I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving word problems. Now in this particular example, I will take three questions based on geometric shapes. Question number one. The height of a triangle is two centimeters more than its width. The area of the triangle is 24 centimeters square. Find its base and height. Question number two. The side length of a square is two more than the other square. If the perimeter of the smaller square is one third of the perimeter of the larger square, find their dimensions. Question three. The sides of a rectangular park are in the ratio of four is to three. If its area is 108 meters square, find the cost of fencing it at $2 per meter. So we are going to follow a structure to solve such word problems. Step number one should be, you need to sketch a diagram. Step number two will be define variables. Step number three will be write equation. And step number four will be solve and check. So whenever you solve word problems, I'll always like you to follow these four steps. Perfect. Now to give you an example, in question number one, we have height of a triangle is two centimeters more than its width. So we're talking about a triangle, correct? So sketch a triangle. Then it says a relation between height and width, right? So height, that becomes the height, h. Define the variable. And width. says the height of a triangle is two centimeters more than its width. So the width has been used as base here. I should not have used the word width. It is, should have been base, right? So we'll call this as the base, which I've written width here by mistake. The area of the triangle is 24 centimeter square. Find the base and the height, correct? So, so that is how we have to sketch and define variables and then we have to write an equation. We know area, so we'll write area A is what? The equation is half base times height. So you got the equation that is step number three, then you have to solve. Substitute the values. Now you'll find that few steps need more than one step and now we'll look into all this in details but i hope the structure is clear so at this stage you can actually pause the video answer this particular question and then look into my solutions now let's begin so we'll solve question number one in these steps which we just discussed the height of a triangle is two centimeters more than its width i'm changing this width to base right so let me sketch this triangle so here we have a triangle whose height is let's say h and this is the base b right so the base is this take any general triangle so we have the diagram and the variables. H represents height, B represents base. Now let's try to write down the equation. The height of the triangle is two centimeters more than its base. That means H is bigger, right? So H is two more than B means B plus two. So that is my first equation. Is it clear? The second one is the area is 24 centimeters. So area A is 24. We'll write units at the end. So this is given to us. 
we have to now write equation and we also know that area is half of base times height so these dot means multiplication fortunately we are given height in terms of base so what we can do here is substitute these values correct so area is 24 so we we'll write 24 for area half of base instead of base well we just write b and height can be replaced by b plus 2 so that is like this does it make sense to you right so what we did here was we replaced height with the expression b plus 2 since we have given we have been given this condition right so this is from our equation 1 okay so what we did here is that we combine the given information let's call this as 2 and this is the formula 3 so we combine all the three things and then got our equation as you know this equation is in one variable which is one unknown b now how do we solve this equation many of you have not learned quadratic equations difficult so what we can do at least cross multiply so the strategy here is to cross multiply so we get 48 equals to b times b plus 2 now that is the equation to solve now let's look into a strategy to solve this equation since we have not learned much more than linear equations right so so what we look for the strategy here is kind of like this we need to multiply two numbers to get 42 so we're looking for a product of two numbers equals to 48 do you see that part so that is how you could relate this equation b times b plus 2 is 48 so what could be those numbers right so there are many combinations which can give you 48 for example you can get 48 by multiplying 6 and 8 if you do that then you know b plus b plus 2 one is two more than the other that works correct well there are other examples which will not work for you because you could have 12 times 4 for example that also gives you 48 but it does not give you the condition that one is two more than the other however that gives you the condition so that becomes the solution does it make sense so here we have applied a strategy to solve the equation since we know height is more we'll say height h is equals to eight centimeters and the base is six centimeters perfect so we can write down our answer as height equals to eight centimeter and base equals to six centimeter is that clear let's move on and then try the next question now question number two the side length of a square is two more than the other square that means we're talking about two squares so let's sketch two squares so this is one square and that's a bigger square so when i say side length of a square is two more than the other let's say this is a then this becomes a plus two in a square all sides are equal as you know right so all sides are a for smaller one a plus 2 for the bigger one now it says if the perimeter of smaller square is one third of the perimeter of the larger square find their dimensions so we have to relate perimeter which is sum of all sides okay so for a small square what is the perimeter so we are also given a relation that the perimeter of the smaller square is one third perimeter of the larger square so if this perimeter 
is PS, let's say smaller circle, and the big one is P big one, then we know that the perimeter of the smaller one is one third, that means one third of the big one perimeter. So we got an equation, right? So I hope the steps are clear. First step is to sketch, second is to identify the variables, right? And we made an equation from the given condition, which is perimeter is one third, and now we are going to solve it, correct? Now we know perimeter of the square is how much? We know that the perimeter for smaller square is four times A, right? And we also know that perimeter of the big square is 4 times a plus 2. 4 sides, 4 equal side lengths to be added. So that gives you this equation. We'll replace small perimeter with 4a and the big perimeter with 4 times a plus 2 divided by 3, divided by 3 does make sense to you. Now we need to solve. So simple steps to solve is if you can cancel 4 and 4. It's a good idea. Dividing both sides and then we'll cross multiply. So we'll do here. We simplify and then we'll do cross multiply. So use the strategies which you have learned to solve equations. So when you cross multiply, you get 3a equals to a plus 2. Perfect. Now this is a simple equation to solve. Let's solve it on the right side. So 3a equals to a plus 2. So 3a minus a equals to 2. 2a equals to 2. Dividing by 2, we get a equals to 1. Now the question is, if the perimeter of smaller square is one third of the perimeter of the larger square, find their dimensions. So if a is one, what is a plus two? So a is one and a plus two will be one plus two, which is three. So we get the dimensions. So this is one each, right? And this is three units each. Perfect. So that is how you can get your solution. Perfect. So we have the answer, which is the side lengths are 1 unit and 3 units. Perfect. So that is how you do it. Now, you should also check your result. How do you check? For the smaller square, what is the perimeter? Perimeter for smaller square is 4 times 1, which is 4. And perimeter for the bigger square is 4 times 3, which is 12. We know 4 divided by 12 is 1 third. So that works. Is it okay? So that is the right check. So that is how we should check also our result. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now let's take the third example. Question number three. The sides of a rectangular park are in the ratio of four is to three. If its area is 108 meter square, find the cost of fencing at $2 per meter. Okay. So fencing means perimeter. First step, let us sketch a rectangle. Now we have to define the dimension. Let's say this is length and this is width. What are we given? The sides of a rectangular park in the ratio of 4 is to 3. So we are given that length is to width is equals to 4 is to 3. Perfect. Now how do we define variables? So let us say that we have let L be X. So let's say this is X. Right? Or what we could do is that we could take, since they are in the ratio of 4 is to 3, 
we will take length as multiple of x. We can take this as 4x. Let us see. Let L be 4x. In that case, then width be 3x. Do you understand? So whenever we have things in a ratio, then we can scale them. So let's have a scale factor of x. Scale by x. So what we get here is something which relates in this ratio 4 is to 3. So we can say that length equals to 4x and width equals to 3x. Do you get the idea? Now they are in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Does it make sense to you? So whenever there is a ratio question, you have to have a scale factor. Then it helps you to answer the question. Now, once you have related, things are simpler. We are given area is 108. So we know area is 108. Now, area is length times width. That should be 108. But length, we are saying, is 4x. So we will multiply 4x with 3x to get 108. So 4 times 3 is 12. And we get square of this equals to 108. Now we need to solve this equation. Perfect. So we have x square equals to 108 divided by 12. That is 12 times 9. x square is 9. So what is x equals to? x is square root of 9, which is 3. So we get the scale factor as 3. Now we can find what length is. So length for us is 4 times 3, which is 12. And width is 3 times 3, which is 9. Perfect. So that is what you get. So we have found the dimensions. That is the first part. Now what we need to do is to find the cost of fencing. Cost of fencing means we need to find perimeter. All four sides, that is fencing. Is it okay? So, perimeter is how much? If the length is equal to 12 and width is equal to 9, then the perimeter is equal to 2 times 12 plus 9, right? Sum of length and width multiplied by 2. So that is 2 times 12 plus 9 is 21. So that becomes the perimeter, which is 42 meters. Since the area is in meter square, we'll write this in meters. Now comes the cost of fencing. So what is the cost? Since the rate is given as $2 per meter, we'll multiply by the rate. So perimeter times the rate. So in our case, the perimeter is 42 and the rate is 2. So we'll multiply it by 2. So what we get here is in dollars, since the rate is in $2, 2 times 42, which is 84. Perfect. So we get our answer. So we can write down clearly our answer as for eighty-four dollars, correct? I hope you understand all these steps. Now, this is a question which involves multi steps, but if you do it in sequence, you can actually uh, solve it very easily. So, don't be in a rush. Perfect. I hope you learn the strategy which we have applied to solve these three questions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.